Callie. Wanted to say hi, everybody. This is little Callie Rose. If you're new here, this is my one year old little Yorkie. This is my girl. I love her so much. Every time I wear makeup, she literally has to sniff my face. I have to film now. Today's video is gonna be a really chilled, laid back kind of video. When you guys are seeing this, I am currently on my way out of town. So I thought for today's video, I would do a what's in my travel makeup bag. I'm just going away for the weekend and honestly, this was a struggle just to use this small bag. Usually I would use something bigger, but just for the weekend, I had to be very picky with the things that I packed in my makeup bag. So we're gonna go through all the products. And then also I think this is a great way for you guys to see the products that I love, for me to talk about them. Any opportunity that I get to talk about any products that I'm loving, I will literally do it. I will literally do it all the time. And I also thought that I would take this time to show you guys my go-to makeup brushes. I know that's not something typical, but I'm really excited about the brushes and I love me some good makeup brushes, okay? So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get into my makeup bag. This bag is from Huda Beauty. I got this bag in like a mystery box and I love it. I think it's the perfect size for like, you know, small getaway type of situations. All right, so starting off with the first thing I have in here, it is my Tula Glowy SPF. I live for SPF. You need it. This is my favorite SPF of all time. It just leaves your skin looking absolutely glowy and oh, just looks fresh. And I honestly think it's almost time for a new one, but I can't not have my SPF in here. And if you're looking for a good SPF that doesn't give like a flashback or a white cast, then I definitely recommend this SPF from Tula. So for primer, I ended up packing the Rem Beauty Blurring Primer. I'm still trying to fill this primer out. I'm wearing it today. It does have a cooling sensation, which feels really nice, but I really wanna get a feel for how it wears. I haven't been able to really put this primer to the test. Um, I am wearing it today. So I've had it on for a couple, like maybe an hour or two. And I did see that I'm starting to, I started to get a little bit, you know, kind of shiny on the forehead. This isn't like a mattifying primer. Primer, so I didn't expect that but I need to know if I gotta like double up the primer so I really wanted to take this with me and use it for the whole weekend so I can kind of really get a feel for the primer for foundation I ended up packing the rare beauty foundation I am in the shade 460 W I love this foundation because it's it covers enough but it's so natural and beautiful and lightweight for every day that I really love it it's what I'm wearing on my face today I think it's such a beautiful foundation and because I don't want anything too full coverage or too light coverage I really want that nice natural medium coverage so I pulled this out I feel like people don't talk about this a lot anymore but it's really good I feel like people talk about a lot of different things from rare beauty but no one really talks about the foundation as much as they talk about the blush or the lip products I'm telling you this foundation is so good if you love the natural like base and you just want it to look really airbrushed and oh beautiful then definitely check out this foundation also in here i did pack two concealers i like to have options okay and the first concealer i packed was the sephora best can ever concealer i really wanted to continue to play with this i'm wearing this concealer today i really really like it a lot and it honestly does remind me of the elf camo concealer which i love it's one of my favorites uh, so i really wanted to continue playing with this i really like it because it's full coverage and it has a natural finish so paired with the rare beauty foundation it's such a beautiful beautiful combo i do have a review up on my channel of this concealer if you are curious and then of course i can't go anywhere without my go-to kosas concealer just in case i need this concealer i feel like this concealer goes well with everything full coverage light coverage foundation medium coverage it's so beautiful and i see why it's literally sold out all the time and i love it been using this for a couple months now and honestly can say this is my absolute favorite concealer in my entire makeup collection hands down i love it so much i did pack a color corrector this is from fenty this is the fenty matchstick 
in the shade Pumpkin. I really love this color corrector because, you know, I'm wearing it today under my makeup. You can't see it, but I'm wearing it. I really like it. Um, it does take a little bit of warming up to do, so you kind of have to like put it on the back of your hand and kind of warm it up. But of course, I needed to have a color corrector because I do have a more medium coverage foundation and I really want to make sure the discoloration around my mouth is fully you know, color corrected. I did pack one setting powder. This is from Uma Beauty. This is currently my favorite setting powder. This is the shade Honey. This is the Trip and Smooth powder. I just feel like your under eyes just look literally so smooth and so flawless. Like this is a different breed of a setting powder. It's so fine. I've never used another setting powder. Out of all the powders I've tried, that's more smoothing than this one. Truly, it's an amazing setting powder and I did not hesitate packing this in my makeup bag. Speaking of setting powders, I did pack both of my go-to Kosa's setting powders. So I packed this shade right here for under the eyes. This shade is the shade Cushiony. It has like a yellowy banana kind of undertone to it. Now, I have seen a lot of people talk about creasing under your eyes. Now, I did experience that when I use this to set my under eyes, like set my concealer. I don't do that. I use this to smooth out and brighten under the eyes after I've set, after I've put on blush and all that. This is like one of the last steps that I do with my makeup is put on this powder and I love it because it just smooths everything over and just blends the just blends the under eye and the blush together so beautifully. Also love this as a touch up powder as well to like, you know, touch up the makeup, touch up any, any oils that's peeking through. This is what I used before I started filming to kind of like, you know, get rid of that oiliness. I love it. And I have this other shade of the Kosas powder in the shade Silky. This is what I like to use to set all over the face. It's so beautiful. I am like almost done with this powder. I know I'm about to like hit pan on it. Definitely is a repurchase for me. This is like a ride or die. I feel like a lot of Kosas products that I have been gravitating to lately have been like, I can't live without those products. So I really love this powder. It has to come with me everywhere I go. For a cream bronzer, I did pack one and this is probably no surprise to y'all. This is my favorite cream bronzer of all time. It is the ABH cream bronzer. The shade that I have is the shade Chestnut. This is the best cream bronzer ever. As you guys can see, I have literally loved this bronzer so much. And it says a lot because I really, really love it. It's so beautiful. It just blends beautifully. It just is the perfect shade as well. Now, I do like to set my cream bronzers. Um, I just like to have a really nice bronzed look. So I did pack a powder bronzer as well, and this one is from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is in the shade Poolside. This is the bronzer I've been using all summer. I love it. It's one of my favorite products from Jaclyn. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Morphe Supreme bronzer. If you are an OG subscriber, then you know. You know that was my favorite bronzer. Um, but this one kind of reminds me of that. It has a really nice toffee, coffee kind of smell. Really pigmented. I just feel like it brings my whole look together. It just makes me look like a bronze goddess. And, you know, your girl, she love her some bronzers. Blush, can you believe that I only packed three blushes? I feel like that might be excessive for some people. Not for me, because I would have packed more. I actually had more in my bag, and I was like, no. Get out of here. You got too much, okay? Too much. Because the more makeup you bring, the more you risk losing your makeup, okay? And, and nobody got time for that, okay? Don't nobody got time. So I do have three blushes in here, and these have been... Uh, I love these blushes so much. So the first blush I have is from Persona. This is in the shade Kiss. So beautiful. This is probably... This is one of the prettiest and easiest blush formulas I've used. And I just... It just sucks because the Persona doesn't have that many shades. Like, this looks intimidating, but I promise you, it is not. It literally blends so beautifully. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. I had to pack this because, hello, I love me some cream blush. The next blush I packed in here is from Benefit. This is in the shade Java. This is my favorite powder blush from Benefit that they did that they released in the new blush range. I love it because it's that perfect like burnt terracotta shade. Y'all know these are the kind of blushes I gravitate to and I really loved. So when I was packing this blush, I was like, you know what blush would be so pretty under this one? 
they knew about face blush also because I'm obsessed with these and I just want to use it. So I packed one. I just packed one. Um, so I packed the shade Smash. It's really, really pretty. It literally is like the cream version of this one, except a little bit brighter. But together, these are going to be beautiful blushes. So I had to pack these up. I do have a review literally on almost all of these products that... I'm talking about in this video so I do have a review up on these and this I'll try to remember to link it in a card above I might make like a blush playlist or something next up for highlighter I just packed one highlighter this is my favorite highlighter in my entire collection as far as like powder highlights I'm obsessed with it it's an OG it's from Mac it's in the shade this is their extra dimension skin finish this is in the shade oh darling it's very much well used and well loved as y'all can see and I feel like this just goes with me everywhere it's like I just want a simple easy highlight that you can go intense with or you can make it look super natural and uh, no pun intended um so this is really really beautiful and I love it a little bit of like knickknacks I just packed the eyeliner a black eyeliner which I love it's my go-to it's what I'm wearing um it's from made by Mitchell it's in the shade black track I'm literally almost done with it it's like getting smaller and smaller and then of course my favorite liquid liner is from one size in the shade this is the Point Made Liquid Liner. It's literally the best liquid liner. This is the only liquid liner that has lasted me over a year. Literally over a year, it did not dry out on me. Literally after, like a month after the year mark, I had to replace it. This is my second one. I bought it back in February and it's still going strong. Still going strong, still extremely black, still one of the best eyeliners I've ever tried. So I love it, I'm obsessed with it. Definitely recommend that one. Favorite mascara? Midfit Bad Girl Bang, you already know the drill. This had to come with me. Brow products, I did pack three. So for my brow pencil, I just packed the Kosa's brow pencil. This is in the shade brown black. This is what I'm wearing in my brows today. I really love this brow pencil. Like I said, Kosa's is really becoming a brand that has like all of my staple products. I really like just about almost everything I've tried from Kosa's. So you know a product is good when you choose to bring it. Unless you're testing it out, you know it's good if you choose to bring it on vacation with you. You just know. You're stuck with that product and you gotta want to be stuck with that product. Uh, but yeah, so I love this pencil. This right here, the Morphe Brow Wax or like the Morphe Supreme Brow. When I tell you this gives me the prettiest brows ever, like my brows look so fluffy and good and it's literally because of this product right here, right here. This product is the best, so I had to bring it with me. What my only thing about it is I do wish that it was bigger, like the container, so I can like get in there. But I already know I'm gonna be ha I'm gonna have to repurchase another one pretty soon because I've been using this every day. I just love what it does to my brows, and I'm really happy because it is super affordable as well. Lip liner, I packed one lip liner. This is my favorite lip liner in my collection. This is the Jaclyn lip liner in the shade Bold Brew. It's what I'm wearing on my lips today. It's really beautiful. I feel like this lip liner just goes with every single lip product that I have. And then for brows to like kind of like carve them out, I did pack my Rem Beauty concealer in the shade Deep One Neutral. This is the concealer I like to use that's more like a spot conceal type of situation clean up the brows it's really closer it doesn't look close on camera but it's super close to my skin tone and I like to use it to set my eyelids as well as far as lashes I did pack my go-to Tatiana Nisa cosmetics lash tweezers I love these these you need if you don't own tweezers like this that have like this little this little round situation on them you are missing out you guys can shop these on my site I love these because it helps to place your lashes in the like the perfect spot I love them these are safer and better than like regular pointy tweezers because you can't really poke yourself with these and I love these they're super cute it says Tatiana Nisa cosmetics on there it's so cute and my favorite lash glue is from kiss this is the lash couture strip lash adhesive it's latex free it has biotin and blueberry in it and it has like a brush on tip and once you stick it down it's not going anywhere did pack a pencil sharpener well a liner sharpener this is the sharpener that comes with the makeup by mario lip pencils one thing i love about his lip liners is that 
it comes with a sharpener. He doesn't advertise that, but I just love it. So this is a good sharpener too. It makes it sharp. Okay, let's get into lip products that I packed because this is like the one product that I have the most of. I have so many. Um, so I had to pack my Kylie Cosmetics gloss strips. I love these glosses. I've seen mixed reviews on this. I've seen a lot more good than bad. I freaking love these, okay? They are thick, but they're not sticky. If you, honestly, anytime you pile a ton of like glossy lip products on your lips you're gonna end up getting like a goopiness because you just put too much on um because i've seen people say that but honestly i when i first tried these i put too much on and it was too much on my lips but then once you just know like a little bit goes a long way then you don't you know you won't have that problem but i love these a lot i love i love i love i love these so much so i had to pack these these are currently one of my favorite glosses then i had to pack some makeup by mario plumping lip serums i'm actually wearing one of the new ones today i'm wearing the blush glow shade on my lips i love this shade so much it's like creeping up there as one of my favorite shades mocha glow it's is my favorite from the Makeup by Mario line, uh, but Blush Glow is truly popping up to the top. So I did pack Blush Glow, Mocha Glow, and Pink Glow. Pink Glow is also another new shade. Just wanted to play with that some more. Who knows if I'll use it, because I packed a lot of lip products. And then the last two lip products I packed are the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps. These are literally an extension of the Makeup by Mario Lip Plumping Serum. So they're literally the same product, but I love them and I just can't see myself leaving these here. I just need to have them or at least know that it's an option for me. And for setting spray, I just packed my Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray. Can't go wrong with it. I need a nice mattifying setting spray. I love it. The All Nighter is just always gonna be a repurchase for me. It's just that good. I mean, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but yeah. The lashes, I did pack these. These are from Amazon. It's a lot cheaper to get like multiple lashes from Amazon. I really like these. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. They're a little bit too curly for me, but because this is all I have right now, I need to buy more lashes. Like I need to go on a lash shopping spree. So I'm just using these. I'm not the biggest fan of these, but I mean, they're okay. They're not my favorite. They're just too curly. For eyeshadow palettes, I only packed one. And right now I've been loving the Jaclyn Cosmetics Strawberry Fills eyeshadow palette. It's beautiful. It has my favorite tones. I live for an all matte look. So that's exactly what this palette gives me. It's beautiful. I've really been into pink lately. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but my past couple of videos, I've been wearing a lot of pink makeup looks. Uh, today, I am not wearing this palette. I had to take a break from it, even though I love it. I am wearing the Patrick Ta Rose Palette on my eyes today. It's so pretty. Every time I use it, I'm just like, oh, this palette is beautiful. As yeah. far as makeup, that is all the makeup that I packed in my travel makeup bag. Let's get into brushes really quickly. This is so great. I don't usually get to talk about brushes, but I'm so excited. First off, the brush bag that I love to pack my brushes in is from Ally Blinds. This is like her everyday tools brush bag. You don't have to use it for brushes, but it's best for brushes. It's like kind of advertised for brushes, but like you can you put anything you want. There's no rules to makeup, uh, but I love it. So it has like this nice elastic in here. Mine's kind of dirty, which makes me sad. Uh, but yeah, it has the elastic to stitch your brushes in. So I wanted to share this bag with y'all. I'll link it down below. Um, so you guys can shop it if you need a nice, sturdy bag to put your brushes in when you travel. So I just find that it's just easier for me to pack brush sets when I travel. As far as like eyes, I like, it's like easy to pack eye brush sets. Um, so my go-to has been recently for traveling, it's just been taking the Morphe X Aerial brush, like eye brush set. It just has everything I need. It has like, you know, a brush that you could use for under the eyes. It has a fluffy brush and even fluffier brush, which sometimes I use for nose contour. Sometimes I use it in my crease with bronzer and like, you know, like literally just simple, easy. Um, and then there's like a brush that you can put for like all over the lid shades and then another one. Like, I just love these brushes. You can get the eye brush set specifically on its own. I will link it down below for y'all, but I love it. They're expensive, but they're good brushes, okay? They're very, very good brushes. Um, they do get dirty really fast, but yeah, they're good brushes. And I love to take this set with me. I did pack two other brushes from his face brush set. So this one right here is the A 
ooh, mine is like already peeling. Oh my gosh. So this is the A21 brush. I like to use this for my bronzer. I feel like it's just the perfect size. It's big, it's fluffy, it blends everything really beautifully and I just love this brush for bronzer. And then for powder blush, I just take, like to use this one. It's not like, it's very flimsy. It's a very flimsy kind of brush, but I really like it to help diffuse my blush out. It's just really pretty. So I'll just take this for my powders and just kind of go over my creams. Like it just blends it really beautifully and gives a nice even disperse airbrush brush look. Nose contour, unfortunately they don't sell this brush anymore, which makes me so sad. I'm so sorry. This was the Morphe Britney Bear collab, I think. I feel like Morphe needs to come out with another brush like this. It's just a really big, like fat <laughs> brush, but it's perfect for nose contour because it literally just fits there perfectly. And I like to kind of take it up in the crease. I love this brush so much. This is the MO brush. I don't know if Morphe has another brush like this, but they need to come out with another one. For cream contour, bronzer, nose, contour but for creams i like to use this double ended brush it's from huda beauty this is the sculpt and shade brush so you can use this side for like your cream products and then this side is smaller so it fits perfectly for cream nose contour so i love it i also love double-sided brushes to travel with because you get two brushes in one speaking of two brushes in one i just got this brush not too long ago but i freaking love it tiktok made me buy it this is the refi duo brush so basically this is good for cream blush and cream contour slash bronzer i know a lot of people use it for foundation i don't like it for foundation because i feel like foundation is too heavy for this side of the brush i feel like because it's not really meant for foundation but your foundation just makes the bristles stick together this is more so intended for a cream blush and cream bronzer but i like to use this brush for cream blush i'll pick up the product with this side sometimes i'll even kind of blend it out with this side depending on the product but i'll take it on this side and blend it out and then take this side to kind of help diffuse it Love this brush. I'm not one to spend a lot of money on brushes, but honestly, this brush is truly worth the price. I really love it. It's really good. These next couple of brushes are from Morphe. It's collab with Jaclyn Hill. So this brush right here, this is the JH17 brush. I like to use this for under the eyes. It kind of has like a little bit of like a tapered side. It just fits under the eyes beautifully. I don't usually use brushes for under the eyes, but since I'm traveling, it's just easy and really convenient to use a brush. So this is the brush that I like to use with my Kosa powder, but I will definitely use it for my uh, loose powder to kind of set. This brush right here is the JH08 brush. This right here I like to use to blend out my color corrector. This is a like brush that you can use for all kind of creams. You can use it for nose contour, literally any cream product. But I've been using this particular brush for blending out my color corrector. Last brush, I almost forgot about this brush, but this is new from Morphe. This is the Morphe Vegan. 103 brush this is a tapered concealer brush now my favorite th way to use this brush is for my lips so i like to take my rem beauty like more skin tone shade and clean up the lips and it's kind of angled so you can really get in the cracks i hope you all enjoyed today's video let me know your thoughts down below i know it was kind of long but hopefully you got a gist of the kind of products i like to travel with what i've been loving what i'm testing out and all of that stuff so let me know your thoughts down below and i will see y'all in my next video bye guys